what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so this will be a idea video if you will regarding a possible jeepers creepers 5 something that likely will not happen to the degree in which we would like it to anyway but this is actually coming from one of you who reached out to me sharing that you had an idea you gave me some of the first act you're going to send me the rest i cannot wait to see what the rest of this is because you're on the right path in terms of a story i think a lot of people could be able to get behind and i hope those of you listening do enjoy this because again this is you guys coming to me wanting me to do videos like this i guess expressing your ideas on my channel so shout out to you alistair you know who you are i can't wait to see the rest of what you have cooked up for this story because so far i do like where you're going with your ideas so the mindset that alistair had was that when approaching this it's a true sequel to jeepers creepers 2 it's not a prequel or anything like that it's set in 2024 it's picking up 23 years later it's picking up where we left off at the end of the second film in that timeline but what we're doing is taking pieces of what we already were told we were going to get with the original story with Trisha and some of the other stuff we've heard about that's been scrapped in the past like a train in the first movie that didn't make it due to budget restrictions taking that and shifting it into a narrative for a potential true sequel to Jeepers Creepers 2 so 23 years after the events of those first two films the only two that matter you are actually going to be following the son of Jack Taggart Jr. and Minxie from Jeepers Creepers 2, the cheerleader, rest in peace, Nikki Acox. And it'll be set on their son, who is actually named Billy Taggart, named after Jack Jr.'s brother that he lost 23 years ago to the Creeper, which was a very nice touch that you came up with, Alistair. It's a very nice touch. So the film would open with a voiceover dialogue. This is just act one. I'm again going to do the rest of the acts on my channel as I get them. If you guys want to hear the rest of Alistair's idea, you let me know. But the film would open with a voiceover dialogue taken from Jeepers Creepers 2, spoken by Minxie. You can't stop it. It doesn't matter what you do. It'll be back 23 years from now, 23 years from then. We see two young siblings, brother and sister, both riding on horseback through an open field. They get separated and the sister's horse takes her into the woods. The horse suddenly jumps in terror, throwing her off its back. The horse runs away and the young girl sees something nearby. She gets closer and sees a huge totem pole with the carving of a demon at the top of it. We, the fans, recognize this demon as the Creeper. We then cut to several years later, I'm assuming 23 years later, where we see a train traveling through a remote countryside. Somewhere in the state of Florida, we are introduced to our main character, Billy Taggart, a young athletic adult. He is traveling down to Poho County to meet some friends and his father, Jack Taggart Jr., who lives on a farm with his obsessive reclusive father, Jack Taggart Sr. None of the none of the train passengers, including Billy, can get Internet connection or even a signal on their smartphones. Billy speaks with a young woman who is about the same age as him. Whilst chatting, the train suddenly comes to a screeching halt, unable to communicate with the train driver through intercom the conductor goes to the driver compartment and finds the driver has vanished with the broken windows and damage to the controls with no one able to drive the train or contact anyone the passengers find themselves stranded the sun is beginning to set the passengers discuss what they should do billy realizes they're in a similar situation that his late mother so in this story i guess minxie passed away uh Probably in respect to, I guess, in Alistair's mind, not wanting to recast the character of Minxie, so he just killed her off. But Billy realizes they're in a similar situation that his late mother Minxie was in 23 years ago, where she was on a broken down school bus in Kissel County. Now, that's the first act. They're going to send me more. What do you guys think about this setup so far, though? Again, you have a son of Minxie and Jack Taggart Jr. named Billy, after the boy we know, his brother who died in the opening of two which is a nice parallel to the original idea of what would have been Trisha's story in Jeepers Creepers 3. Now, I've, I've always stated you don't need Trisha. You really don't. It would just be nice to have her back. But there's material you can work with here with the Taggarts. I also like how Alistair took it upon themselves to kind of tweak what was going on at the end of Jeepers Creepers 2. So maybe sometime after those kids left the barn, you would have had like a pregnant Minxie come into the fold or come into the frame 
And that's how it's revealed that Minxie is dating Jack Jr. Not that they were overly close at the end of that second film, but they did spend some time, we know, in that car together. Not that there was anything romantic going on, but that that's a nice, I think, healthy progression of where things could have gone since there was those small bits of time they spent together and who knows what they were up to in between the events of two to now. Then you get to find out they actually got very close and Minxie's pregnant. I like that. Um... Uh, I think that was Nikki Acox's idea. He said Nikki Acox talked about this at one point, but Nikki Acox and the son, of course, of Jack Jr. being involved in the film, obviously they'd have to tweak that anyway, because if it's 23 years later and we're with an adult Billy Taggart, he'd have to be older anyway for this to work. So she wouldn't have necessarily showed up pregnant, but that was apparently a scrapped idea that Nikki wanted for Jeepers Creepers 2. I'm trying to look up and see how factual that is. But again, Alistair, very good outline, very good first act. What do you guys think about how they incorporated the train of the, the train in the story? Because remember, if you recall, in the original first film, Derry and Trisha were supposed to be chased onto train tracks where Derry, I guess, Derry and Trish hijacked the Creepers truck he began or it would begin running after them revealing it had super speed of some sort dairy would then park it on the tracks something involving a train and dairy ultimately still getting taken away but it was cut due to budget restrictions how do you guys like a train being incorporated to this possible story for a fifth movie now i will say they're not saying that the entire movie would take place on a train but the first act definitely would it's how we'll be introduced to billy it's likely how we'll be introduced to the creeper once more and i i do like how it doesn't seem that we're gonna wait and see how the creeper escaped it's just 23 years later and the damn thing is back that's all we really need we don't need to really see how it got out of the barn knowing that the taggers weren't looking and it managed to escape is enough we don't really need to know the ins and outs of how it's able to be back how it got its wings back yes it would be nice to know those things but the more i think about it let's try to preserve as much mystique around it as we can which i think the original cathedral script was doing a great job at anyway since the creeper was supposed to reappear out of a swarm of bats just back to full health very amazing technique to reintroduce it without explaining too much granted i know some people would love to see it devour some bats and some other animals and limbs to see it regenerate its parts since it had its leg legs stitched back to it we know that the original script also had it basically shedding its skin or leaving behind its carcass for a new body that it's been birthed into or reborn into if you will but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. Do you want to know the rest of the acts? Let me know why or why not. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications. There's a video in the description. I have links to my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there. Let me know any movies, news, or reviews. Let me know cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.